Hello everyone, today we're gonna talk about the most important purchase you can make under 50 bucks to improve your video production. Be it as you're using your mobile phone, your DSLR, mirrorless camera, whatever. We're gonna talk about these lights, how to use them, some tips, tricks, and we're gonna play a game at the end. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already. And right now, instead of our usual intro, take a look at some images taken with these lights. Usually I would put these outside the frame but today we're gonna talk about them so let's use them as lights and props. As you can see they are very cheaply made. Very cheap plastic at the joints. Very cheap covers. Also as you can see they are not your traditional softbox. They have one single light. It's, it's an energy saver light bulb. So you cannot swap it to a flash but still they they provide beautiful lighting but the most important thing you're looking for when you buying the light is the color temperature you want to be able to mix your light with the outside light which I'm actually doing now so make sure you buy something which have 5500 Kelvin temperature and you can mix that seamlessly with with the outside light with the Sun for instance as you can see they're not very expensively made the cheap plastics everywhere they're a little bit flimsy but I have them for nine years so it's a good value the light bulb gets real hot so don't touch it <laughs> it's already cheap but if you take care of it it's gonna serve you for a good while also I need to tell you first thing if you think about using a light outside this is not gonna be it they can be blow they can be blow over by wind they're gonna break so forget about it use them using them outside so there are advantages using continuous light instead of flash if someone is sensitive to light their eyes might get red they get watery however with these if they spend one or two minutes in front of them their eyes adjust and you can just take your shots let's cue the dramatic reenactment of the flash nightmare oh yeah yeah I know I know oh, I know that one yeah yeah oh oh oh, 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 oh. hello however be ready to use very slow shutter speeds because they're not too bright they give out very pleasant light but they're not too bright so you're gonna use slower shutter speed or higher ISOs they are perfect for video you can have your perfect 180 degree rule right now my shutter speed is 50 and my frame rate is 25 ISO 400 because this background is a little bit dark but you can see it's perfect the motion is not wobbly it's pretty good and they don't flicker they don't flicker at 24 frames per second they don't flicker at 25 frames per second and now for our little game if you ever seen a nice image take a look at the molder's eyes or the hair or the background and you can see what kind of light source they used or where they put them so I'm gonna set up a few scenarios and you need to guess where are the lights in the image put your list down in the comment below if you get any of them right and you can win what can you win? a heart from me <laughs> what can I do? <sighs> okay let's jump into our game dun, dun, dun. welcome to our game for this I use my remote control on the Wi-Fi so I can actually see myself can you care to guess where are the lights in this image as you can see it's very dramatic like I would give an interview yes I've been there when the dinos ran away and they just punch through the fence it's very dramatic but can you guess where are the lights I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Three, two, one. For starters, you can see I'm looking at one. So I, I got one in front of me, and I got a hair light in the back. You can see my beautiful face is lit up from the side. This lighting is what you call a Rembrandt light. 
It's called that because Rembrandt used to paint portraits of people and he used to put a little triangle of light on the darker side of the face, which I suppose we have now. I also have, I have a light source in front of me, the main light, and I have the light, second light behind me, and I throw a little shirt on it, so that's how you dim the light if you don't have fancy buttons to change the set and change the settings. Okay, next. Next, light setup. Our next setup is what most commonly used in beauty shots, headshots and magazine covers. There are no shadows on my face. I look perfect. It's very easy to retouch. It's very easy to manipulate. And with these lights, you can mix the sunlight with the normal light. I can create a high key background just by opening the curtain behind me. So let's take a look at that. It's the same light setup. I just open the curtains. You can see the light is very close. You can see actually it in the picture, but it's very easy to retouch. Just take it off. This is very pleasing. It's a happy mood. <laughs> Tell me a joke so I can laugh finally. It's a very happy mood lighting. If you want serious conversation, go back to the other setup where there was a dark background. But this is it. <laughs> I can be bubbly, put some nice music. <laughs> nice music and it look fucking happy. I mean, I look happy. And now I'm on an album cover. Wait, let me practice my blues still. Was it any good? Who knows? Next setup. This looks very similar like the, the one before. There is only one twist. Can you guess what? I give you a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Okay. I got one light right in front of me. Same as before, same as with the beauty shot, but the other light is right behind me. So this is not a natural sunlight now. This is actually the light behind me. Because of the compression of the 85, I can just put it behind me and it looks like I got high key background. And in reality, look at this. Boom. This is second light. This looks pretty good as well. It's less flaring, no mixture of lights, so supposed to be better for everyone. Okay, next up. Now, can you guess where is the light? I know it's not easy. Of course, it's very easy. It's right down there. It's right underneath. This is very creepy. If you have some smoldering looks, it looks pretty good with this. You see, we still use only one light. Cherries on the same place, cameras on the same place. But we change moods so quick, so nice. Do I look anything like Queen? Now with these lights, I'm sure you guessed both lights are here. With these lights, you cannot really do top-down lighting, only if you hold it. But then that's not very comfy for anybody. But you can bend them down enough to create the effect. I quite like this light pretty good stop making noise now this is not fluttering whatsoever this is a very ugly light but speaking of ugly lights let's jump to the next one can you guess where the light is I like this light this is very dramatic it looks good on everybody. Just give you a little shape. If you have overweight customers who need to take a picture of, this would work very well for them. Just a little slight area of the face is lighted. They look more skinny. I have a few profile pictures which I took this kind of light. So if you're not fans to get in a light like this, just go ahead. Be careful how you assemble it. Be careful how you use it. And it's gonna be good for you for many many years. It's not a sponsored message or, or 
I don't even have Amazon affiliate program yet so I just would like to give you a heads up these are pretty good very well style you have two of them and if you learn how to use it you can achieve pretty good things great things actually they are perfect for YouTube videos they are perfect for taking portraits keep in mind slow shutter speed so you're not gonna do the hair flip pictures with this you need a flash for that but still for learning they are very good they're really really good so please come back next week subscribe and take care bye let me do one one last blue steel I almost forget the flash. Oh my god. Right, our first life setup. <coughs> <laughs> Let's master our enthusiasm. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna talk about the most important 50 bucks purchase that you can do to improve your video production. Be it as mobile phone, camera or whatever.